This video is brought to you by RogueDeckBuilder.com. Purchase a playmat today and help us make the move to our new studio. We have over 10 playmats to choose from. Visit RogueDeckBuilder.com. Hi there, it's Kevin with RogueDeckBuilder.com. Continuing off our top 10 list, I apologize for this one being a bit delayed. I had a fun week in the pre-release. I hope you guys did as well. I'm going to try to have all these videos done by the actual release. I know that this is Wednesday. Wednesday night when I'm finally getting these videos up on YouTube. And so I have a, just a few days to get the remaining three onto YouTube. And I'm going to do that before Friday for the launch day. So anyway... We have a card coming in at number four that is just an amazing card and it's still going to see a ton of play in the popper format. So I don't know if I would have put this up higher. Plus one of my cards, spoiler alert, is that is higher up on the list is actually contained in this deck. So um, I thought that Nivik Cyclops being at four would get, create enough gap between the two. Uh, and then I'm going to create two different decks utilizing this card. But anyway, Nivik Cyclops coming in at number four. Absolutely love this card. It is whenever you cast Sinister Sorcery spell, Nivik Cyclops gets plus three plus zero until end of turn and can attack. This turn is though I didn't have Defender, so it's a 1-4 Defender for 3 mana, which is actually pretty strong in this format with Lightning Strikes. Unfortunately, we, we did just see Stoke the Flames get printed, so now we have Stoke the Flames, Last Breath. Last Breath actually isn't the greatest at getting rid of Nivik Cyclops, because so you can pump in response. And we also have Mizium Mortars. So we do have a hate for that in the sideboard, though, to actually give our guy Hexproof. Mainboard, we have some other things as well. But anyway, Nivik Cyclops, I've always kind of liked these combo S cards. This is a card that you completely build a deck around. Uh, it pairs very well with Double Strike. You can do one turn kills. And standard right now, we've been a bit hostile towards creatures like Mono Black Devotion. But I'm, I'm, I'm going to go out on a limb here and predict that this is going to be. A pretty powerful deck in the format with only a few days left of it legal. I wish I would have jumped on this a little bit early, earlier because it seems to be maybe weak against Jun Planeswalkers, but I've never really had the hardest time against Azorius Control. You can still... Uh, Azorius Control actually is a hard matchup now I think about it, but you do have ways around it, and you can definitely build a deck that can beat Azorius. So besides Jun Planeswalkers, Mono Black, and, and Azorius type control, the other type decks that are going out right now are like Rabble Master Red, which I absolutely love this, this matchup against, and there's also um, a lot of Mono Green Devotion and BG Dredge, and this deck just smashes both of those. Like, BG Dredge and Mono Green Devotion are trying to do a thing that are very similar than a Vic Cyclop deck. They're trying not really to interact with their opponent and just, just go all out on their strategy and burst. And BG Dredge and the Mono Green Devotion cannot, I repeat, cannot race Nivik Cyclops. Nivik Cyclops, a lot of times, if you don't do anything about it, is going to be a fourth turn kill. It can actually be a third turn kill with a, a few things, I'll show you how, but that's very rare. It's usually going to be a fourth turn kill. Anyway, let's go ahead and look at the de deck list. I'll load it up here on MTGO. So here's the deck list. Of course, we're utilizing the four Nivik Cyclops. It is the poster child of this, of this deck. We also have Blister Coil Wheel Weird. It is another thing that if you cast enough creature or enough spells, it gets plus one plus one. And you can easily get this up to ten, which is it's usually just an extra spell versus Nivik Cyclops. I well, in fact, you can you can get some early damage with with some of the combos in here. So I do like Blister Coil Weird. It, it just seems like I wanted a one drop. And the other one drops that I've messed around with in the past have been the Seder Hoplite. I've messed around with the Akron Crusader. I've messed around with uh, Niv Magus Elemental. And Blister Coil Weird just seems like the best one for that type of deck. I know Hidden Strings does combo really way, well with Niv Magus Elemental as you can counter the second trigger. And then you just keep getting a bigger and bigger Niv Magus Elemental. But I, I, Blister Coil Wheel gives you immediate... Um, plus side to it. And it's got this cool little interaction with Spring Leaf Drum. If, it's, if it works out, we'll add a few more Spring Leaf Drums to try to find this combo more. And what it is, is Blitzcrow Wheel, you can tap uh, for, if you have Spring Leaf Drum, for a mana, and then like cast a quicken and untaps Blitzcrow Wheel, and then you can actually tap it for another mana, and then use it for another spell. And you can get this guy pretty big by just cycling through spells. So, and then it's... It is just a 1-1 one, one for 1 that's hybrid color, which actually is pretty good because you can drop either a blue source or a red source, and everything does tap for either a blue source or a red, red source besides the temples. We're utilizing temples in this deck because we do need to scry through our deck. 
So, I mean, it's going to be playing 16 creatures. We want to see at least one. We have other win conditions besides the Cyclops. are going to be Young Pyromancer. It's definitely the second best card in the format. It actually goes well with Teleportal if you have enough tokens out. And Hidden Strings is just awesome if you overwhelm your opponent just with tokens. We have uh, Gutter Snipe is another win condition. I don't want too many of the drops going into three. So Gutter Snipe is just a two of. And the rest are just spells to actually pump up our Nivix Cyclops. Quicken has an amazing interaction with the Armed and Dangerous, as you can do it in response. And I believe that's the only... And Teleportal, too, is not too shabby, because you can Quicken in response. Not in response to blocks, but... Yeah, it's really just in here for the Armored Dangerous, and it's just such a powerful little cantrip card. We don't have a better cantrip card like Ponder or Preordain or Slate of Hand or etc, etc, etc. I think that they've moved away from, from the, the one-drop blue cantrip type card, so uh, Quicken's the best that we have. And then Hidden Strings is, just interacts so well with everything in this deck. It's so, so good on Gutter Snipe and Young Pyromancer. Decent on Nivik Cyclops because what you do is you actually tap down their block or untap a land. And then you usually, or, or, that's that's scenario one, or untap, or tap down two blockers. So it's the pseudo unblockable type ability. And then number two is you can actually cast it as a free spell to untap mana. So Hidden Strings is very, very powerful with Nivik Cyclops. We have just a uh, two Titanic Growth and two Titan Strength. Uh, I thought about using Phyto, Phyto Burst with Quicken. It just didn't quite make the cut. Uh, got two Goblin Mechromancers in here. It's always nice to reduce the spell of Titanic Gross, Armed and Dangerous, and Hidden Strings. Uh, we might cut down to one Goblin Mechromancer and two Spring Leaf Drums. I'm thinking that might be a little bit better. I just don't want to get flooded out with too many lands. If, if that's the case, I might cut a land. I'm not sure. Cut a land and go three Spring Leaf Drums. Who knows? But and then, of course, we have Simic Charm, which... which is really the reason why we are using green. I mean, Dangerous can actually... I've actually had Dangerous uh, being able to s splice both Armed and Dangerous and then put the Arm or the Dangerous part on a token of Young Pyromancer and they everything has to block the token. And then the Double Strike can go on the other creature and hopefully for the win. That scenario comes in, in uh, effect every now and again. That, but Simic Charm is really just the reason for using green, Simic Charm and Titanic Growth. This is just such a u utility card. Plus 3 plus 3 is awesome on Invic Cyclops. That puts him up to a 7. That means you only have to cast one more spell. Or it's like Simic Charmed, Armor and Dangerous. That a, a, is a, a uh, turn 4 kill. But what really makes this good is you can return a... Uh, creature to its owner's hand, so return a blocker. You can actually save a Niv Nivik Cyclops if you have to, and you can give it plus three plus three. You can give him hexproof, so it's really the hexproof that's in here. So in response to something, you pump up the Nivik Cyclops with the Simic Charm. Speaking of hexproof, we have three more Rangers Giles in the sideboard. It's a, a bit better than Mizium Skin. We have two dispels. This dispels is really in it for the instance any deck that utilizes any removal. And it also is nice against like Sphinx's Revelation. You don't want to play Race the Sphinx, though. Uh, the Shocks are really in here for Goblin Rabble Master and Mono Green Devotion. Taking out their Burning Tremissaries, Elvish Mystic, etc., etc. is pretty decent, as well as it can take out a Blocker and then tack in the Vic Cyclops. We have the Mortars in here to take care of Corsair Crew Fixes and Bramazes, those annoying for mana or four toughness creatures. We have a one of Back to Nature, because I just wanted it a hate card. There's a lot of devotion, or uh, excuse me, constellation decks going around at the moment. We have two Is It Charms. Is It Charm is an another great utility card. Counters target non-creature spell, unless they pay two. Two damage start creature, or, or then you can loot for discard two cards and draw two cards. So if you get Mana Flood, you can drop lands and then actually try to find your, your spells. And then one more Simic Charm against the decks that are going to try to blow up the Nivik Cyclops. So I played this deck a ton. Uh, again, this is just my, my top ten list. You might have seen these decks a million times before. I've done these for playing on a budget. I've done these for my own channel multiple times. And... Just going to give it a shout out one last hoorah before it rotates. So number four again is Nivik Cyclops. This has been Kevin with RogueDeckBuilder.com. Thanks for watching. <laughs>